Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to Moon Pressure Let's Plays. My name is Hecto and today we're embarking on our second Let's Play series. Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Complete Edition. Man, that's a mouthful. Who boy. Yeah, I... I ended up referencing Digimon in the last Let's Play of Unsighted a lot because of the woman with the scythe. So I thought, why not play Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth? I have no clue about anything relating to Digimon or obviously about this video game as well because it's blind, yes. That's how these things work. Yeah. The only thing I heard is that this game is supposedly somewhat similar to the Pokemon Colosseum games for the GameCube. And I enjoyed those two quite a lot. So yeah, let's start. I'm guessing a sleuth is some sort of a detective, right? So maybe we'll do some detective stuff as well. Let's jump in, ladies and gents. Okay, we want a new game. Hmm, wonder if there's going to be voice acting. Yes, there is. Okay. Japanese? Okay. We have a choice to make. Hmm. Real world and digital intersected. At the same time, okay, so we have parallel storylines. Hmm. I am I'm not clicking. It's auto scrolls. So yeah, here we are, it seems, and she is still moving her mouth. So lady, what confuses me is that we have hacker's memory on the left and what seems to be the default Digimon story Cyber Sleuth on the right. So Shouldn't it be on the, on the left if we should start with this? Oh no, of course not. It's a Japanese game, so Japanese read right to left. At least if you consider like books or manga. Their, their character order is still left to right or top down in some cases. But yeah, so I will probably start with... Story of Cyber Sleuth in worlds real and digital. Jump into this world for the first time here. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, the only Digimon I know is Agumon. And only because I saw like one episode of Digimon on free TV like 10, 15 years ago. Maybe some of you watching aren't even that old yet, so yeah. Change the options, yeah. Let's see here. We have a minimap, partner Digimon, yes, 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 yes. Seems great. Button setting, graphics options, so we cannot change the language. I tried changing it in the Steam settings, the Steam game settings, but there it was set to English, so I'm guessing the Japanese dialogue is non-optional. Yeah, let's just enjoy it. I studied Japanese for a few years, so maybe I'll understand some of it, but Japanese is a complicated language, so... Yeah, begin with these settings. At least we have the English subtitles. Yes, I've made my choice. Oh, so you are like an omnipresent narrator chick? Enjoy chat. I will enjoy. 
Our name is Ayoba? Am I interpreting that correctly? Okay. Enter your password. That's not me. That's the game doing that. Yeah, I, th I thought after the last LP, which was somewhat action-packed, I would opt for a more laid-back LP, and this is turn-based, if I have been informed correctly. What a cutie, because I love you, so when's next concert? For a closed chat, these seem to be pretty generic messages. Okay. Club Penguin Revival, or what is this? Ever heard of Digimon? What's this all of a sudden? You're talking about Digimon programs, right? Those dangerous programs used by hackers. Dangerous? How dangerous exactly? They can break through the security, steal data, enter password protectors forums with ease. Sorry that I'm not giving them voices, it's auto-scoring stuff. Those programs can do all kinds of nasty things. They're behind most of the incidents that have been happening. Wow, Digimon sound dangerous. My friend got this account targeted by them. No way. When did this happen? In some areas, Digimon roam around on their own. Wait a minute, Digimon can move? It sounds like these programs have avatars, kinda like monsters. Digimon, like digital monsters? Exactly. When did this happen exactly? Mr. Navit has logged in. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. And it's Bugs Bunny? Big Chungus? Mm, menacing, not menacing... Wally character, maybe? Yeah, what's up, people? Why, it's Mr. Navid. Huh, you mean that Eden mascot? Sorry, man, no solicitations, huh? What the heck, why would an Eden official come all the way out here? This is a private room, you know. Just who are you? And what's with that greeting? Hardly suiting an official. Wait a minute, is he a hacker? Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. That's right, I'm Mr. Navit, the hacker. I have a fantastic present for all of you. Be sure to log on, log in to Eden tomorrow. Don't forget though, if you don't log in, I'll hack you. Wait, that's blackmail. Bye-bye now. Mr. Navit has logged out. What the heck? Was that an actual hacker? No way, dude. Think someone's playing a prank on us? Sounds fun, don't it? Let's check it out! Are you stupid, Akino? You don't check out hackers. What, don't tell me you're all chicken? Well, peer pressure strikes again. Well, you want to go, Akino? What'll you do if it's a real hacker? This is just PR for an Eden event, ain't it? A real hacker would be cooler, though. Sounds like I can't stop you. Fine, then I'll come with. What? Is this a date now? You asking me out all of a sudden? Anyways... Anyone else co gonna come with us? I hope we're not stupid enough to do so. Better safe than sorry, I'll log out. I'll pass. Me too. We are, we are that stupid, right? Yes, we are. I'm in. Ayoba. The avatar looked like one of these Teru Teru Bozu, these... I think they're some sort of rain talisman, if I remember correctly. Or weather talisman, anyways. And so the chatting continued. And I finally have control over the game. Akino and Blue Box went on with their late night gab fest. As always, topics were loose with no real focus. Eventually, dawn broke outside their windows. That was the day they were finally going to meet in Eden. They spent the day much as they did the day before. And then the appointed time drew near. Okay, I am male and my name is... N not Takumi? Please enter a name. Your name may be seen by many people over the network. Please be careful not to include words that are offensive to others or personal information such as real names, phone numbers, or an email address. Okay. 
Wait, I actually have to use the keyboard for this. Sorry for an eventual clacking. I'll be Hecto. I'm guessing my main character will not be referred to by name. So it's fine. I don't want to be Takumi. And I have no frame of reference for who this character is. So Takumi always reminds me of the main character from Chaos Head. And you really don't want to be him. At least for like 80% of that visual novel. Okay. Hecto, let's remove my mouse cursor from the screen and log in. Kamishiro Enterprise. So that's the company offering something, something. Okay, we're entering VR. Am I seeing that correctly? Welcome to the Digital Garden of Eden. Oh god, Facebook has already taken over. Yeah, yeah, the overaging society in Japan desperately needs something like this, actually. Uh, we look kind of like a dingus. Or at least we did in that shot. Maybe I should have named myself Dingus. Okay, there we are. And great, not everything is voiced, so I have the distinct pleasure of torturing you with my bad voice acting yet again. <laughs> the entrance to Eden. This is where we promise to meet. Oh wait, should the main character have a different voice? Hmm. Nah, for now, I, I have no real grasp of his personality, so... It'll be default for now, and maybe I'll change it around after I get a better grasp. I'm here a little earlier than what than we'd agreed on. I'm guessing Akino and Blue Box still aren't here. What did it say on our T-shirt? AWA Studio Works or something like that? Oh, this seems to be a riot. Everyone's just standing around emotionlessly. This'll be the first time I've met them outside a chat room. I don't know what their avatars look like, though. Well, technically, you, you are still in a chat room, Hector. But I should be able to figure it out. I'll try making small talk with the Eden avatars in the area. Can I just say how refreshing it is to have a main character in a Japanese game actually talk? Like, normally he would just be your usual standard mute protagonist. But I like, I like having a, a character that actually, like, does something. Intellectual businessman. That round thing with the arrow is the access point. You can use it to travel around Eden. Root male student. Huh? What? I've heard there's an area in Eden filled with hackers. Why would the company shut the, uh, why would the company shut such a dangerous area down at once? Okay, so this area is actually somewhat infested. International male students. I'm logged in from abroad. It's all thanks to Eden that I can keep up with my buddies. So Eden is like Japan exclusive? I can't imagine that the super world superpowers would allow such a thing. Observant businessman. Look there! No, don't be obvious. It's a hacker. You shouldn't get too close. Uh, I guess the guy in the hacker hoodie. 
Let's talk to the little girl. Frivolous girl? I got a cell phone digivice for my birthday. Yours are those goggles? They're pretty sweet. Next time I'll pick some up. Wait, the digivice was that sort of cell phone looking thing they had in the TV show, right? So we already have a digivice? Okay. Digivices log into Eden and the voice features are handy. Still, maybe my daughter's too young for one. I'm worried about security. Who do we have here? Hello, hacker. Oh, well, not very informative, are you? Go to another area. What do we have here? Moving in Eden. Use the directional buttons to choose a destination. If there are new areas that you can go to, they will be indicated with new. Selecting logout from the options on the left will return you to the point you use to access Eden. Okay, so there is a real world. Mm, but nah, let's 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 just continue exploring here. That's what we're supposed to do. At least uh, I, I'm hoping they wouldn't put like critical or missable information outside already at such an early stage. Wonderful woman. This entrance is one of the largest in all of Eden. There's even a pavilion further in. Have you heard of pavilions? Sorry, I butchered the first pronunciation. Pavilions are places where companies can safely and securely do business over Eden. Over Eden? Unfortunately, they aren't open to the public. So I'm guessing they're gon going to be hacked? Modern businessman. For any errands that the bank or the post office... For any errands at the bank or the post office, the forms can all be taken care of here in Eden. This is really a world of convenience. <laughs> Wait, was is he the, the technology is amazing guy from Pokemon? He probably is. Knowledgeable dude. You can use access points to get to air... Wait, didn't we have the... You'll need the URL. Heard a rumor there's a ghost going around Eden. If you ask around, you'll hear stories about the white boy. But if you look real close, the facial texture is all messed up. The arms and legs are slimy tentacles. Its real form is the demon of the creeping darkness. It comes up to your avatar and snaps it up. Chomp chomp. That's the rumor anyways. None of what you said sounds impossible for a digital avatar. Why is he a ghost again? I'm just being snarky. Elite businessman. Nowadays, being able to work at a company's Eden branch is a huge status symbol. So it is not just Japan exclusive, it's also snobby? Unhappy businessman. Even though I'm in the digital world, my avatar just looks just like the real me. Yeah, right. I know it's supposed to cut down on crime, but it still sucks. Oh, you don't have a choice. Okay, sorry I doubted you. Okay, there's a shiny, but let's talk to you first. Male student. Looking for your friend? If they're not here, did you look? try looking in the community area? It's an open area, it's just like the entrance. Hey, you can get there from any terminal. Bold choice in color. Wait, he was actually the one I was supposed to talk to? Now I missed the shiny. Hmm. There don't seem to be any avatars like them. I guess I showed up too early after all. Dot 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 Stop dot dot ring. Wait, do you, do you hear that? There's like some sort of whisper in the background music. Somewhat creeps me out now that uh, now that I know that it's there. <clears throat> There's still time left before our meeting. I should check out some of the other some of the other areas. Maybe, maybe a bit more airy. He seems like an airhead. Hello, gummy mon metal. What's that? Do I have menus? I have menus. 
Digimon, I don't have any items. Speak. Okay, I'm probably not supposed to know that this stuff is here yet. The vibrant yellow and black clothes of the Cyber Sleuth costume and Enoden's Oh, so those are optional costumes. I won't use them yet. Gummymon medal. A medal from a Gummymon. Descriptive. That's us. We have no hacking skill, no cases, and some tutorials. Keywords, I don't know what that is. Options are the same as before. Okay. And the field guide. This is a database of Digimon. You can also check... Oh, there's Agumon. You can also check lots of details on friendly Digimon, such as stats, available skills, Digivolve and D-Digivolve information. Yeah, evolution works differently in the Digimon universe? Question mark? I'm a Pokemon guy myself, and even that not for the past 10 years or so, so... I know nothing about Digimon. Hello, little guy, do you know something about Digimon? Scampering boy. I think Eden avatars are mo avatars move faster than real people. Oh, okay. Hey no! Keep running like that and you're going to fall. Even as an avatar, it'll still hurt. It'll still hurt? Who designed this place? <laughs> it's fine. It's no more running than gym. It's just an avatar, so it won't affect his muscles, but it'll, it'll be good image training, no? Okay. Hello! Again, bold choice in uniform colors, especially if the male, when the males wear these as well. My friend's late. I wonder if there was a problem with her access point. The public ones are better, but expensive, so she usually logs in from home. Where is she? I was supposed to meet my friend ages ago, but I don't see her anywhere. Hmm. What's this? It's just walls, it's not gateways. Okay. So... Just return or log out? Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll... Oh no, it said I should, I should, it said I should go to the community area, right? Yeah. But I'll log out. You cannot log out. Okay. I just wanted to try. Just in case there was something missable. Wait, we can't log out. It's sorted online all over again. Okay. A bit bright for my taste. Like, would you go blind if you experienced this on a day-to-day -day basis? I'm, I'm more of a night mode user, thank you. This is the community area. I like this place. It's quiet and relaxed. La -di -da -di -da. My Digivice talk, talk feature is getting a call. Who could it be? Huh? Hey there, it's me, Mr. Novit. Just one sec, you're behind schedule, silly. You're gonna be late. Hurry up! Come to Galacta Park in Kulun. You two, you two friends arrived a little while ago and are waiting for you. I have a gift for you all, but everyone has to be there first. Bye bye mm, Yeah, I, I like this voice from Mr. Navid. I, I think I'll keep it. Kulun? Doesn't sound like a Japanese name, maybe it's Korean? Isn't that the dangerous area full with hackers? Yeah... Oh, calm down. Thank you for giving me the option. I wonder what they mean by gift. Anyway, let's go to Galacta Park in Kulun. I've never even been anywhere near Kulun. How do I get there? Dot, dot, dot. Come on, don't be a wimpy kid, Hector. Oh wait, that's me. There might be someone here who knows how to get to Galacta Park in Kulu. I better ask around. You got the keyword Galacta Park Kulu. Q 
keywords. During conversations you will hear keywords. Keywords will mark characters with an icon. Sorry, with a lock icon. And this means that you can ask the character about keywords. If you ask the right character about a certain keyword, the lock will open and you will learn new information. I haven't found them yet. I'll try talking to some of the Eden avatars here. I found a sparkly thing at the end of the street and then I saw something awesome. Descriptive as always. Yeah, that monument is a miniature of Eden. Is that the latest, latest Digivice? Sweet! If I had one, I could do so much. So the term Digivice stands for Digital Dijur Standard Terminal. My buddy's cousin's friend said so. Hmm, yeah, maybe I'll try to incorporate some speech impediments into into uh, my character voices from now on. Oh, let's pick up the sparkly first. Minimon medal. I guess it'll, it'll just say it's a medal from the Minimon. Naive woman. The top area is for the Eden offices of government agencies and big corporations. It's so glitzy. And then the bottom level is filled with old trash data. They say it's pretty seedy. I've heard that the virus attacks all originate from down there. It's a real public nuisance. Okay, he's my quest goal. You look important, you are green. Hello, and I can't even talk to you. I thought, uh, I thought I'd meet with my friends to go shopping, but there's so many shops here in Eden, just one is enough. Way to break stereotypes. I may be too old to get far in the real world, but here in Eden my avatar can go for miles. It's really nice. And you are also mute, okay. Hello! Kinda busy here. How to get the first key one to remember details? The Kulun URL, I wonder if someone knows it, okay. Just a sec. What? You want to go to Kurun? But why? It's lawless and filled with hackers. Besides, if that's what you're into, we're done here. Go talk to a hacker if you want to know about it. There's a hacker looking thug near the entrance. Don't blame me for your foolish decisions. Grow up and take responsibility for yourself. Hmm, I guess being hacked would be pretty bad in a society that's dependent on digital space. Again, that's why I'm characterizing characterizing the main character as, as an airhead. Because like, yeah, that's really not the right call what we're currently aiming for. So the hacker is obviously the goal, but what can you do? What now? Kowlan Cracker Parts. <laughs> nice. At least I'm not the only one who doesn't know Korean. What's that supposed to be? It sounds awful. Oh, you mean Kulun Galacta Park? Never mind. I don't know that one either. Sorry, maybe you should ask someone else. Okay, hacker boy. You look kind of stupid, sorry for saying that. I want to go to Galacta Park in Kulun. That's what you think you want, isn't it? I'll show you the way. This is the URL to the take their, to their area. Take it. Thanks, pal. I got the URL. Now I can go to Kulun. Zaxxon. Okay. Teleport out.
please be somewhat darker. Come on, the seedier parts of the world have to be darker, right? My retinas are searing right now. And the brightness of my television is already at its absolute lowest. Yes, I like blues. But the music is still pretty chill, and who are you? You seem like a main character. Okay, I understood that, at least. <laughs> I guess you're Akino. You wouldn't happen to be Akino by any chance. Akino, okay. This is your first time in Eden, right? Okay. Hmm. I intend to upload these episodes as I go, so in case anyone is watching this as I release the videos, should I revoice their dialogue in case they say something in, in these dialogue boxes? Or shouldn't I? Well, I guess I won't for now. Maybe. I'll see how it goes. Hmm. Maybe it's just like in these story cutscenes and in, in between stuff. They aren't voiced. Well, we'll see. Okay. Kids, pay attention. This is the first mistake of being on the internet. You never, never, ever Tell anyone your real name. Don't do it. Yeah, your real name is Nokia Shiramina. At least you won't... You won't break if I drop you. Oh, maybe you were... Smarter than I gave you credit for? Oh, no you're not. Well... Probably... pretty bad? Well, has he shown up yet? Well, didn't you want to go on a date with him? Hmm, weird. Uh, isn't her voice somewhat quiet? Oh no, it's just I, I turned down my own volume, but uh, the recording should have full volume. At least I hope. Okay, so Blue Box is a ghost hunter. Okay, so you find him attractive. Yeah, I guess that would be a requirement if you date him. Yeah, we heard that. Apparently that ghost eats avatars and we also found out that you apparently can feel pain in this place. Isn't that fun? Ah, it's that guy. Ah, nice. He he actually has a hood that is somewhat reminiscent of the cap his little chat avatar wore. It's like white white with a blue stripe. Just... 
チキンのくせに行きがってこんなとこまでのこのこ来てんじゃねえよそそのこんなとこに置き去りにしたのはどこのあなたよあんたの血は何味だああうっせうっせ Well, don't talk to your girlfriend like that, dude. Zuka. Hajimete da na, kochi de ano. No, we haven't. Sanada aratada. Ma, tekito ni yoroshiku. I am somewhat concerned that we suddenly seem to have gone mute. But nice to meet you too, pal. Jo, jiko shokai kurai, chanto shi nasa. Wait, is he wearing like a onesie underneath his cloak? L like, look at it. There's no distinction between his his pants and his shirt. There, like, he doesn't wear a shirt. It's like a onesie or not even an overall. Like, is the zipper on the on the on on his back? Hmm, somewhat weird. Hello, Blue Box. Hmm. So that makes him immediately suspicious, right? If his chat persona is significantly different. From how he treats people in real life, especially if the people in real life are exactly the same people he talks to in the chat daily, I guess. Hora, ikemen no mudazuka itte yu ka? Aho wa hoji de tanomu wa. De, otaku o matte iru aida ni kono atari o sagutte mita. Ore ra o yobitsuke ta Nabito kun ga inai ka to omotte sa. You actually went looking for him, dude? I, I mean, I guess we are in this shit show together, but yeah. Hey, you were looking for him, right? Well, that's the next time. In the end, I didn't find him at all. Ah, and good for you. That's why I'm just one of them. 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 Hmm. I like my voice better. Okay, so Mr. Navit has a chibi voice. Hmm. Okay, hmm, I'll look if I can somehow combine it with my All Might voice, so... It's a miraculous power to change the world. Well, he works fast. Uh, I mean, I guess he could have been working the entire time we were talking here, but yeah. What did you think was going to happen, Hector? A new program has been installed. Digimon Capture. Oh, so you are like a programmer yourself? Digimon. Are these all Pokeballs? Hmm. Are there different types? I wouldn't know. Okay. So we'll enslave them for our amusement? Okay, there's a certain kind of data known as digital monsters that you can capture by scanning, this thing says. 
Yeah, I got that information of a child, I think. And now you can be a hacker too, Nokia! Hmm. I guess we'll find out. Hackers are nothing out of the ordinary nowadays. Well, Nokia, I would commend you on your good sense, but a little bit late for that. You can't. Was it the tentacle boy? He didn't seem to have tentacles, but he had some sort of weird helmet. I mean, it could have been Mr. Navit, but in a digital space, do we really need to be close to someone to hack them? Question mark. So no, I, I think that was the ghost. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be honest, Nokia. I have no clue either. You can't. Oh, music starts up. Hmm, that's nice. Oh, with with vocals. Nice. Ah, oh, I like this track. Well, Nokia, you're an SAO now. Okay. Yeah. Screw our Arata. If he wants to run ahead, it's on him. But we might find an exit there too. Let's go look. So you'll just remain here, alone, with a potential ghost that will eat your avatar? Okay, have it your way. Ah, the, the cool music stopped. Press the uh, Y button uh, while on the field, yeah, we know that. You can save at almost any time from the save menu of your Digivice. That is great. Yeah, okay, so save often, I guess, because otherwise the game will screw me over. I hope you ladies and gents out there don't mind if I save during the let's play. I know that's normally bad etiquette, but yeah, if it doesn't have save points and there's a good chance that I'll die, then I'll probably save during the let's play. Ah, okay, so she isn't voiced. No! This isn't supposed to happen! Oh, that was it. Hmm. Yeah, let me know... ...what you think I should do about... ...about the, the voices, whether I should voice them even during the Japanese voice dialogue, or not. So yeah, let's put our, down our first save. You, as you can see, I have not played this game before. And the save was successful. Okay. 
let's go and leave our pre-2000s mobile phone behind. And thank you for not being all white. Okay, another track. Hmm, it's funky, but not as good as the last one, at least for now. Does the Kulun area stretch all the way back through here? It feels totally different from the cyberspace areas of on the upper part of the Eden network. There's no trace of Arata. He may have gone further inside. I should be careful. Why am I shouldered with friends like that? Okay, free movement, and this is a dungeon, question mark? Do we have random encounters? Oh, we do? No, it's a cutscene. Gasp. Bewilderment? And we got our brain hacked. That is not good. Okay. Purple kid. With a glitchy face texture, so he is the white boy avatar. The white boy ghost. Eldritch Horror has been inscribed on your brain. Great, just when I thought we got rid of Cthulhu in the last LP. It seems the alien presence returns. What was that? Cthulhu's uh, uh, as dangerous as they say. Who know what might happen here? I better hurry up, find Arata and get out of here. Oh, not so glitchy anymore. And suddenly the hair is no longer purple. Bewilderment. That's because I did, ghastly boy. Ah, uh, why do we become mute as soon as we interact with someone? It seems Hector has social anxiety. You saw a ghost that looked like me? Yes, I did. Some call you the Wraith of Eden. Aha, uh -huh. so they say, but is that the truth? Thank you for answering my question. Uh, the, the glitchy mess from before suggests otherwise. Hmm, for being ghastly, you're surprisingly accommodating. Yep. Yep, also true. Hmm. Does that mean there is a morality system in this game? Question mark, maybe? Are you asking me, or was that a rhetorical question? Yeah, I, it was rhetorical. That's not how humans are made, ghastly boy.
Hmm, something else altogether. What would that be? Well, mainly misguided curiosity. Indeed. Hmm, sorry, I didn't quite catch that. I would therefore recommend you give the remarkable power of these Digimon programs a try. Hmm. Dot dot dot. Yay, let's do it! Let's be criminal! Okay, both of a fellow hacker. Why, thank you. Gasp. Oh boy, my very first Digimon. Hmm. Is this a starter choice? Oh, it's not no longer voice. Hmm, so how do I best imitate his voice? A bit a bit snarky, a bit, a bit aloof. There are three different types of Digimon here, but you can only take one. Which will you choose? Hmm. The excessively adorable animal type? Possibly, f possibly fragrant plant type. The mechanical looking machine type. Hmm. That's difficult because I know nothing about Digimon and nothing about what they will become or the, the repercussions of such a choice. That means I'll just choose by whichever one I want to. Okay, the plant type seems familiar. I think it was in that one episode I saw like 15 years ago. Like a girl with like a cowboy hat had this one, I think. Hmm. So that's the only familiar face. Mm, but I kind of don't want that. The animal type seems kind of generic, so... Uh, that's probably bad because it seems like the least protagonisty, but I'll go with the mechanical looking machine type. Oh, oh, it it does tell you a little bit about it. Hagurumon. Hagurumon. Type virus. Attribute electric. So it's an electric type. Mm, and let's look at the other two. Terrier Mon type vaccine. The type tells me nothing. I guess attribute is easy enough to to identify, like it's like a Pokemon type. But what is a vaccine and what is a virus? Please let me know in the comments, if you so please. I don't know if it will be on time because, like as I said, not many people watch these. But yeah, maybe maybe at least some future viewer will have the pleasure of knowing. No. I mean, vaccine sounds better than virus, at least in the current times, but... And this is type data. Hmm. Palmon. And it's plant. No, no, I'll go with my first choice. I just wanted to see what kind of things there are. Hmm, should have probably picked the animal, animal type, but... I'm not a big fan of steampunk, but I like the aesthetic at least sometimes. Do some of you know Maximo vs. the Army of Zin? It's a great game and it has a great enemy design and they all have like a clockwork design. It's the Army of Zin, obviously, like the title implies. Yeah, great game. Give it a try if you ever have the chance. It's on PS2 and the PS3 eShop. 
You seem to have made up your mind. Yes, I did. Okay, let's bring out, bring you out of your shell. Several steps are required to obtain a Digimon. If you discover or encounter a Digimon program, run a scan and then acquire the analyzed data. Those are all done with Digimon Capture. You can use that without any restrictions. Just because you got the analyzed data doesn't mean the Digimon program itself is yours. First, you must convert it. You must launch the Digimon program and implement it in cyberspace first and foremost. Sorry for being that guy, ghastly boy, but I have no idea what that means. Only then can it serve as a digital monster. A hacking program that is not to be trifled with. Unlike Scan, however, Convert is not part of the Digimon Capture application. We hackers finally devised the technique needed, but certain rules were put in place regarding how it it's used. In order to control how this power is exercised, your chosen Digimon program is still weak, but it will grow in power and digivolve. As you gain experience as a hacker, your programs will become more powerful as well. Someday, immense power might be yours. When that day comes, responsibility will come along with it. Who are you, Uncle Ben? Hackers may be free spirits, but they must never succumb to chaos. Never that. Okay... I mean, I hope I'm not Chaos Aligned. At least I never played a Chaos Aligned character in D&D. I'm sure most of this went over your head. Yes, it did! But tuck it away in a corner of your mind. Besides, merely having Digimon capture gives you your hacker status. It's a special program, but... A hacker's ability, values and goals can all be seen in how well that hacker uses Digimon programs. Because protecting the Order of Eden is a hacker's first duty. Wait, now we're a police force? I thought we were criminals! You're giving me mixed messages here, ghastly boy. I would be very happy if you would try to become that kind of hacker. Okay, it was just a suggestion. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, but I am generally disinclined to mischief, so yeah, probably. After all, hackers have been with Eden since its inception. Gasp. Wait, what? They were here since its inception? You want the Digimon right now? Oh, that's what I said. I see. You heard what I had to say and decided you wanted to become a proud hacker too. Excellent. Okay, this is kind of stressing me out, pal. Well then, follow the steps. Start with a scan, have Digimon capture running and target a... Huh? Oh, suddenly, suddenly we can talk again? You don't look friendly. Bewilderment. Yeah, shucks. Wait, so that choice was meaningless? Hmm, I mean it looked mean, but not that tough. Hmm, how about that? Hmm. 
Wait, Hec Hector, are you stupid? You want to go after the death machine without anything? I mean, I guess we have the capture program, but... Uh. Yeah, I'm a good at two shoes. Hmm. Okay. Mm, yeah, I'm a good at two shoes. Less curiosity, more guided action and guided thought. Okay, they went that way, and we have something here. I saw it on the minimap. HP capsule C. Does that mean there is an HP capsule HP capsule A and B? Hmm. Okay. Yes, we were. Okay, I will save and probably end the episode here because that was a lot of dialogue and I'm coming up on around an hour with my recording. So, I hope this first episode was enjoyable to you. We got a little taste of the Digiverse, Digimon World, or Eden as it is called here. Met our two chat friends and the ghastly boy, who isn't ghastly at all actually. Or maybe I just don't know what that word, word means. Anyways, join me next time on Moon Pressure Let's Plays for the adventure of this wimpy kid and yeah I hope I'll see you in episode 2 until next time I guess